Hi, I'm Jennifer with Equilibar, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to use an Equilibar flow control valve in a closed loop flow control application where a PLC is running our PID loop. So here's a schematic you can find on our getting started with flow control page. In our demonstration, we will have water coming in at about 40 PSI going through our flow meter, in this case, an Anderson Hauser ProMass 63. The water then goes through our Equilibar flow control valve, which is being piloted by a high precision QPV electronic pressure regulator. The water then empties to atmosphere. The flow meter is translating the measured flow to a four to 20 milliamp signal, which is going to the PLC, being run through a PID loop, comparing the measured flow to the set point we're giving it. And that is translated to a zero to 10 volt output signal, which is driving our QPV. The QPV will increase the pressure on the dome of the equilibar in order to decrease the flow in the system and the other way around in order to increase the flow. Here we have the water coming in to our process through our flow meter and then to our equilibar flow control valve, which is piloted by a high resolution QPV electronic pressure regulator. Here is our Omega PLC. This is the signal coming in from the flow meter and then it comes out to drive the QPV. Here's the display of the Omega PLC we're using. It is graphing both the flow and the set point. The scale is from 0 to 100%, which correlates to 0 to 1,000 grams per minute of water through the system. This number in the middle right here is the measured flow coming directly from the flow meter. And you can see right now it's really steady around the set point of 35%. And the graph auto scales, so right now it's showing from 34 to 36%. I've just changed the set point to 1% of the total range, which is 10 grams per hour. And you can see the PID loop worked to get the flow to reach the set point, but now that it's steady, I will increase the set point. Now the flow is at 100% set point or 1000 grams per minute. You can see how the PID loop adjusted the pressure on the dome to achieve the correct flow. And with our Equilibar flow control valve and this PLC setup, we've achieved a 100 to one turndown ratio.